modified Bosco sticks reserved in the local high school's cafeteria. The students are running rampant through the halls and cannot be controlled. Now to Sarah, Studio 21 scientist, to explain what had happened. Thanks, Nancy. Teachers at the local high school noticed their students were becoming sluggish and undermotivated. A forensics teacher named Mr. Barnacle came up with this new steroid named Steroid X, which is supposed to give the students a boost of some extra energy. So some of you are probably asking, well, how did Mr. Barnacle come up with such an ingenious idea? And how did he manage to create this? Well, being this brilliant teacher that Mr. Barnacle is, he took the idea of recombinant DNA and decided to test it on the students. Now we do not have all the details, but from what we heard, he took the steroid Adderall, which helps people with attention deficit disorder concentrate. He found the steroid hormone receptor in the cell of that particular steroid and used a restriction, a restriction enzyme that we do not currently know the name of. He cut the steroid Adderall in a specific place to make it susceptible modification when need be. Before that to work, he needed to find a steroid which had a complementary base pair, which was also cut by the same restriction enzyme as Adderall. After a few weeks of research and experiments, he found out with one which is named prednisone, which gives you an energy boost. He took these two steroids and combined them through recombinant DNA processes and combined them to create steroid X, which gives you an energy boost and the ability to concentrate. Go wrong. Back to Nancy, who can explain yeah. how it all went back. So the biology teacher had to come up with a way to administer a steroid to the students. He couldn't think of a better way to do it than through food. It was concluded that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the steroid would be injected into the Bosco sticks at lunchtime. But when the Bosco sticks were injected, they had to be cooked an extra 20 minutes for the steroid to be activated. For the first two weeks, everything was fine. The students had more energy and they were more focused on their work. Everything seemed to be better. The students had a higher success rate on tests and quizzes and had a higher percentage of homework turned in. That was until about two hours ago. According to our sources, <laughs> there was an incident. A new lunch lady had not known about steroid and did not cook the Bosco sticks for an extra 20 minutes. Because the steroid had not been activated, it had some unusual side effects. Inf infected children were running rampant through the hallways. They are growing horns and foaming at the mouths. The authorities have been contacted and nothing like this has ever happened before. Nobody knows what to do. Let's shoot it to our eyewitness reporter, Legend, who is interviewing Mr. Barnacle. Thanks, Nancy. Now, Miss B, um, were you even considering the consequences of what might happen if the Bosco sticks did not get cooked thoroughly or not at all? Well, no, not really. What should we do now? Is there anything we can do to stop the children? I have watched the students and did some more research, and I have found nothing except that it is not life stretching and all we can do is let it run its course. Any last words? I am so sorry for any inconvenience that this has caused everyone. Peace out. You have heard it straight from the horse's mouth. There is nothing we can do except let it run its course. Back to you guys in the newsroom. So, to my sources, the students have already begun to return to normal. Their horns are disappearing and they are starting to calm down. As far as, as for Mr. Barnacle and the lunch lady, their fate is still being determined on whether or not charges are going to be pressed for disorderly conduct and misuse of school property to create an, a medical drug and illegal distribution of the drug without parent consent. We'll keep you up to date as this story progresses. Students got wild after genetically modified Bosco sticks that served in a local high school's cafeteria. The students are running rapid through the halls and cannot be controlled. Now to studio. Now to Sarah. <laughs> Students gone wild after genetically modified <laughs> steroid Adderall, which helps people with attention and deficit disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student's gone wild like genetically modified Bosco sticks for surgery. <laughs> so the biology teacher had to come up with a way to administer the steroid to the students. <laughs> now we do not have all the details, but from what we heard, we took this. You got it. Yeah.